Another amazing skill that will help you in your quest to own your stage and to wow your audience is audibility. Now, I like to think of communication as the passage of a message. Therefore, effective communication is what happens when the message that is sent is the same as the message that is received. You see, for me, public speaking is the effective verbal communication of a message by a speaker to an intended audience. So public speaking is effective when what the speaker wants to say is exactly what the audience heard and took away. Put in another way, I am an effective public speaker when what I hope you heard me say is exactly what I intended to say. Therefore, if you're going to be an effective public speaker, your audience must hear your message loud and clear. And this is exactly what it means to be audible. You see, audibility is the quality of a speaker to be loud enough to be heard and clear enough to be understood. Now, whether you wish to build a career as a speaker or you simply just wish to be effective in your ability to communicate or make impressive presentations, audibility is one skill that you just cannot do without. Whenever you are addressing a crowd, I want you to always remember that it is your responsibility to speak loudly enough for the furthest person away from you to hear your message loud and clear. Regardless of the size of the crowd, the size of the venue, or the kind of public address system that is available, you must find a way to ensure that everyone can hear you and everyone can understand your message. There is no point in speaking to any group of people, large or small, if they cannot hear you clearly. I was recently invited to speak at a customer forum put together by a multinational organization for about 1,000 of their active and potential customers. You know, most of the participants in the audience were young people in their 20s. And I watched in horror as one of the staff of the multinational organization, a highly knowledgeable technical expert, struggled to connect with the crowd simply because he just couldn't project his voice loud enough to be heard by the audience, even though he had a very good microphone and a very good public address system. A few minutes into his presentation, the crowd of young customers became quite irritable and started to grumble loudly. Some people in the audience even started to shout, Speak up! in revolt. The poor man was so terrified by the audience reaction and he had to be saved by another staff of the organization who used the same microphone and the same public address system to deliver her message clearly to the applause of the now satisfied audience. It was that day that it became clear to me that public speaking is a life skill required by everyone and not just those from whom public speaking is a career. Audibility is an indispensable skill for every public speaker and it is one skill that will be tested in a special way at some point in the course of your public speaking career. So I'll tell you my story. A few years ago, I was speaking at a conference at the main auditorium of the University of Lagos, Nigeria, when all of a sudden, there was a power outage. The hall was jam-packed to capacity with about 2,500 people from whom I was now cut off when the power went out and my microphone became useless. After a few minutes of waiting and hoping for the power to be restored, it became clear to the organizers, the audience, and even myself that this was going to be an extended power outage. Unfortunately, for some unexplainable reason, something also seemed to have gone wrong with the backup battery-powered public address system. So now, I had to immediately explore my options and to think of the next course of action. You see, it was a young audience and they were beginning to show the early warning signs of restlessness and irritation. And without any public address system, 
my only available option was to raise my voice from my inner chamber and project it to the farthest person in that hall. That day, through the art of voice projection, I spoke to about 2,500 people without the aid of a public address system. And each time I asked, can you hear me loud and clear? The audience thundered, yes, in response. When I finished my speech, the audience gave me an exceptionally longer than usual standing ovation. Perhaps the very best applause I had ever received in my public speaking career. I honestly believe in my heart that that special applause I received that day was an appreciation of the extra effort that I had made to be audible even when I didn't have a public address system. To be audible, especially where there is no public address system, every speaker must learn and master the art of voice projection. Let me be clear, voice projection is not the same as yelling at the top of your lungs or screaming at your audience. Oh, no, 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 no. On the contrary, voice projection is the ability to intentionally throw your voice to the farthest person in the audience in a way that everyone else under the sound of your voice clearly hears every word that you have said. The secret to projecting your voice is your intentional focus on the furthest person in your audience. Like every other skill, voice projection requires practice and over time, you will train your voice to project as loud and as clear as you need it to be. And soon, you would also be able to project your voice as far as you need it to be heard. A few other helpful tips that I can share with you in improving your voice projection skills include taking deep breaths from your belly, which means you're breathing not from your chest, but from your diaphragm. Also, regular exercises like aerobics, running, swimming, or sports generally are also very good for strengthening your lungs and your respiratory organs, which are all very important for projecting your voice. In conclusion, to wow your audience, you must learn to speak loud and clear in any situation, and with practice, you can actually master the skill of audibility.